everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I'm really, really, really excited. I'm going to be doing the Snapchat AI Pix My Nail Art. I've seen people doing this with makeup and whatnot, but I haven't seen anyone do it with nail art yet. And I thought it'd be a really fun, interesting video. So I have prepared some nail tips already. We're not going to talk about the nail art stand. It's a few years old, it looks absolutely terrible. I really need to get a new one. But I suppose at the very least, at least I'm not painting on top of a bolt anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I've got five nail tips here which we're going to be doing a design with. And yeah, we don't have a clue. We have no idea what we're going to be doing today. But yeah, Snapchat AI is going to be picking for us. So I hope you all enjoy the video. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I've not really planned much out. But one thing we do know is we need a colour. I don't just want to use one colour. So what I was thinking was getting the AI to pick a number. So we ask it, can you pick a number between two and four? So I pick two, three or four coats, hopefully, we'll be well. Three, okay, so we're gonna go three color, three colors. Okay, so next I'm going to ask it, pick me three colours. So I'm impressed how quickly it responds. So there we go, we are going with blue, green and yellow. Okay, we've got blue, green and yellow. I think it would be interesting to ask it as well, what sort of blue? So light blue or dark blue? What's it going to give us? Light blue, okay. Um, light green or dark green? Light green. Okay, I'm not going to bother asking it about yellow, so we're going to get a yellow, a light blue and a light green. Okay, so I have dived into my collection. I've decided to go with three Umic polishes. So we've got our light green, our yellow and our light blue. I think that's going to ask it, maybe whether it wants to be doing like ombre or solid colour. Let's see what sort of design it might push out. Can you pick between um, gradient, I suppose, solid colour, stripes? What else could we do? Tie dye? Or let's give it one more option. What should we go with? Um, da, da, da. My mind's gone blank. Or French manicure, I suppose. It might get a bit confused. We'll see. Tie dye. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I was, yeah, I shouldn't have put that one because that one I know I'm going to struggle with. But we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I did accidentally click off a bit and I've lost the chat. I just thought to myself, what we'll do is we'll ask it to pick a number between one and five and see how many nails, I've got five tips here, so we'll see how many nails it wants me to do that I die. And pick a number between one and five, four. So four of them are gonna do tie dye. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to do one nail at a time. I'm going to start off with my centre nail, the biggest one I've got going on here. And I'm going to use this one just as a sort of back, sort of base sort of colour. Just want to do the tie dye if it's sort of... I don't even know what I'm all about, to be honest. Do I? I never fucking know what I'm all about. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just so when I do the tie dye, because I'm afraid I'm going to use to do the tie dye, it's just good to have like a solid base colour underneath so if I put it in a certain way and um, yeah there's just something behind. It's really hard to explain. I know what I've, I would know what I'm on about but if you know me I've really struggled to put things into words correctly. But yes, yeah, all over coat of that because I think I'm going to use this throughout some of the other nails too I sort of have an idea in mind. I have got those three colours on a palette. Let's ignore the state of my palette. All my stuff's disgusting. I really need to buy some new stuff, but yeah, everything's disgusting. However, it does the job as a palette, so we're gonna use it as a palette. So I'm gonna start off by putting a blob 
of this paint. Sort of in the moon shape. Don't really need to be too neat. I'm not going to cure it either. I'm not going to cure any of it until I've sort of done the side eye pattern. Hopefully, all be a well. I think I've only attempted to tie down nail art maybe just once or maybe twice, but it's not something I've really done. But I do love a good old tie dye effect, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. So I'm just going to sort of layer the colours, kind of like in a sort of well, stripe to space. I really like the idea of this whole Snapchat AI thing. I quite like the AIs they made both me and my partner. I'm quite fond of the AIs. It's incredible some of the stuff that they can do. It's very clever technology, very scary technology. Like, let me know in the comments what you think about this whole AI thing, because I think it can be quite scary. And I do think that one day it could potentially take us over, but it is also kind of cool, cool and clever at the same time. And some of these AIs, they just seem cleverer than us. Some of the stuff they come out with, it's crazy. Yeah, right, I'm going to leave that like that. I know it looks like a mess. And I'll get some of the green. I normally would say there's method in the madness. However, there might well not be any method in the madness today. It could just be pure madness. So it doesn't work out the way I want it to. But we shall see. I do like these shells here. They're quite frequented and nice. Okay, so we've splashed the colours, we've got a liner brush and I'm just going to try sort of pull from that angle I suppose like that I'm just going to pull the gel polish through like that I definitely put way too much on there but we'll work on that should I go down like that or should I just keep going? What do you reckon? Do you reckon it look alright if I go down like that? Yeah, I reckon that could be quite fun. A bit too lights. Kind of give that tie dye effect, isn't it? I'm going to try again. Just giving, like, putting quite a bit of gel polish on that just makes it. You just have more to pull and play with that way, don't you? So if I go down like that. And then, like that, I'm just sort of wiping off the residue on my palette here. And it's just this bit here. You think it's tie-dye? Do you reckon that's sort of looking tie dye It's looking alright now. Different. I'm hoping this will cure alright. I might have put too much on it, I might not cure very well, but hopefully. Fingers crossed we'll be okay. I'm just going to try and neaten it up and pull some of that yellow out there a bit more. What are we reckoning there, guys? It's looking alright, isn't it? Trying to straighten them up again, they kind of wiggled. Or do you reckon? I reckon I'm going to cure that now before I end up overdoing it because I like something and then I'll give it a bit more and end up heating it. So I'm going to cure that right now while I can. <laughs> so, silly me, somehow I managed to look over putting it in my lamp, so I did smash it a bit down there. But it's still tie dye, we're going to go with it. It's looking too bad, I don't think. <laughs> Okay, so for the next two nails, I'm going to do the same design on two nails. I'm not going to do it both of them on camera. I'll go through the process with you for one, and I'll do the other one off camera. Just because you don't need to watch the same process twice. I'm going to attempt to do... I'm going to sort of do like a sort of smile line kind of thing. And attempt to do a tie dye on that, hopefully, if that makes sense. I'm hoping that other one's going to cure alright because I did put way too much gel polish on there. I really don't want it to wrinkle. That's going to be probably if you find a gel polish that's wrinkling. Normally, it's very rare for it to be a bad gel polish. I know a lot of people assume it's gel polish. A lot of the time it's not actually the gel polish causing the wrinkling. It's just simply your application's a little bit too thick. If you, instead of putting loads on to get the full coverage, it's better to sort of do a thin layer at a time, cure in between, and then it will cure without wrinkling. See, on here I have... I've definitely have got a slight bit of wrinkling 
where I've just put way too much on, but I'm hoping that I can sort that out with a good bit of top coat and it'll be alright. <laughs> it's not too bad, it's very, very minor. So hopefully it'll be recoverable. <laughs> okay, so that has been cured and buffered down, just to get rid of the shine. And what I'm going to do is start off by doing a sort of template for the small line. So I'm going to struggle with us getting these perfectly even. Mind you, that don't look too bad. Awesome, that was nice and easy. And yeah, similar again, I'm going to try not to put quite as much gel polish on this time so it don't wrinkle. I'm just going to do sort of the same sort of thing with the stripes, just going downwards. And hopefully it all work just as well as it did a moment ago, the other nail. Right, that's looking quite scruffy to be fair, however, I suppose one benefit about tie dye it doesn't really need to be neat, does it? <laughs> so it might be looking a little rough, but it's alright. We'll be right. Yeah. I think that'll do. I'm not gonna go too funky of it, I think that'll do. <laughs> Okay, so this is the current situation. I think what I'm going to do on the final fourth one I want to do is do like a vertical half and half design. But I feel like it's coming together pretty much. It's not looking too bad. My tie dye is a bit off, but otherwise, yeah, it's looking alright. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in for this nude colour again. I'm just going to do the whole entire lot in the nude, cure that, and then yeah, I'm going to do half of it vertically sort of tie-dye as you'll see in the moment but I'm hoping it'll look all right. I'll have to ask the AI again for some more ideas in the moment. I sort of have an image like because I'm painting and I've sort of done what I've done I have this image in my head of exactly how I'd like the end results to be with what I've already done but I guess it all depends what the AI chooses. We'll see. <laughs> right okay let's see how much of a straight line I can do. Not too bad, it's not very central though, is it? Let's try again. Yeah, I think we can work with that. I do love this liner brush, it's well cheap, it's one of Honey Express. But it's the best liner brush I've ever had. It literally costs me like two quid or something ridiculous, but it's so. Like, can you guys see how thin that is? That's covered in paint as well, but it's a really thin brush, this one. So yeah, just like before, do the stripey stripes. Just really that first one, I need to worry about being straight-ish, but we can fix it anyway. Just lag it on again. And the last nail with tie-dye on, which I'm really happy about, it's just to be fair, it could have gone worse, it could have gone worse, it is, like, it definitely, you can tell it's tied, I can't you, <laughs> thank god, it could have been worse, but, yeah, I stitched myself up a bit there, my mind sort of went blank, I didn't really sort of know what suggestions to give it, but I do know that if you just straight up tell it, like, oh, can you give me a nail art sign, it'll be like, oh no, we can't help you, we can recommend Pinterest or Instagram though, so, I sort of figured it'd be more fun and more logical to ask individual questions and kind of let it pick. I think it's doing alright so far. We're working with what we've got and yeah, I think I'm quite happy with so far the results. <laughs> that 
that's not looking half bad, is it? Got to be optimistic. It could have been a complete and utter flop. It could have been a complete fail. I don't think it's looking too bad. Just yeah, it could be better. However, I'm hoping it will come together at the end and look like a nice, decent functional set with a bit of luck. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. It's got a side eye effect on it. It'll do. Okay, so the next question I'm going to ask the AI is glitter or foil? I really hope it'll pick glitter. Please pick glitter. Yay! <laughs> Wicked! Yeah, I know exactly the right glitter as well. Sparkle Supplies glitter, I'm pretty sure I've got. Bear with me, this is going to be a perfect glitter for this set. Here we go. Sparkle Supplies refreshes. I feel like this is just perfect glitter to go with this set. It's just all the right colours and I think, yeah, it's going to be absolutely perfect. I'm so chuffed it's a glitter. <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't know, I just feel like that's perfect glitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that full nail, the one that I didn't get to do, encapsulated this glitter out, and then I've got to add some of this glitter somewhere in the set, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Oh, all the stuff is all lumpy. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this one a nice good layer of base coat. I'm going to do my usual... How much of the pour? Try not to be too much of this. I'm just going to try and pat it down, tuck it in around the edges, proper lagged it on there. It's a really chunky glitter, this one. And even though it's got his multi cuts, it's got like ultra fine and fine glitter in it. I quite often find with these multi cut ones that it just seems to seem to always end up with the big lumps that come out. And not very much of the uh, fine stuff, but. I think that's all right. Can't complain. Once that's cured in the lamp, I'm going to use this Build It In A Bottle. That's really good. I really like this one, actually. I'm going to use this to encapsulate the glitter. I'm going to sort of file it down, buff it down, depending on how bad the application is. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But I do that and encapsulate blah, 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 blah. Encapsulate them. I'm so happy that AI said glitter. Because while I was painting this tie dye, I sat thinking to myself, it's like, that glitter would be absolutely perfect for the set but I want to do it all genuine so I'm sat there thinking well if I ask it glitter or foil I've been trying to think what foil sort of would suit it I probably would have gone for some florals or something like that some sort of flowery one along the sort of same colours but I can't think I don't use foil often so I kind of forget what I've got in my foil collection whereas yeah this glitter popped straight into mind with the colours that I had and we all know I love Sparkle Spice Glitter, it's all very unique and I love it. Okay, so the next part that I'm going to do, before I do anything else with the glitter, I'm going to ask it whether to use rhinestones or decals, just to finish off that design. I'm hoping to say decals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really working well, my favourite thing, isn't it? Okay. Um... I don't know how to ask it what sort of decals. Um, should I say it flowers, trippy, or lovey dovey? <laughs> I don't know how well this will work. I don't really know. I can't even think of what decals I've got. What's it going to say? Trippy. I like your thinking. Let's see what it says. I like. I like your thing here. Yeah. Should I give it a wink face to see what it says? Noise. <laughs> right, let's see what I've got then, trippy wise. Okay, so I didn't really think about it very logically when I asked the question. I don't actually have that many trippy decals. I've got these ones. I'm sort of umming around about that one. I don't really like the black that's coming through. I've got these ones, but they sort of drop you on kind of like the peace symbol and the peace hands down there. Which one to keep on either? And I've got these. You see them, little tie dye aliens. I feel like, yeah, that's probably the best I've got actually. So <laughs> I think we're going to go with one of them. Yeah, it's not quite what I was going for with the whole look. I think we could probably make it work. It's actually a homemade decal that I made myself, but they're just awful to be honest. And actually really hard to work with <laughs> and now i've sort of added the decal i think i'm gonna add some more glitter 
here because it's a little bit of the rhinestone so I think I'm going to incorporate some glitter elsewhere just sort of help tie it all in together a bit more right yeah so I'm just adding some top coat probably shouldn't use top coat but it works it does the job uh, because it wouldn't let me use rhinestones and it picked the stickers instead if it let me have rhinestones I probably would have done some rhinestones sort of down this nail a bit just sort of hide some of the wonky lines I have going on at the top but it says it didn't let us have rhinestones so we're going to do something with the glitter instead could look cool if I did it the whole length of the nail but because if I was using rhinestones this would be a sort of thing I'd probably do on this nail but with rhinestones but for the fun I'm just going to leave it like that and we'll see how it goes I think I'm also going to add a couple of little dabs of glitter on this nail probably help if I put some top coat on it first wouldn't it? I'm just going to roughly put some of that on there, just sort of give it something to stick to. I reckon just not like a big clump of them, just a couple of, just a couple I reckon. Okay, so I think I am actually happy with them how they are. So I don't think I'm going to bother the rhinestones or embellishments. So I figured the last and final thing is whether we are going with a glossy or that set. And that's that. Okay, so we're interested with the glitter. <laughs> okay, so here we go. What I've done is I've just buffed them all off. I'm not going to do completely 100% matte because it just feels like a waste of the glitter. So I'm going to do everything matte apart from the glittery bits, as you will see. Are you ready for the satisfaction? It's one of my favourite things ever. Just bringing that sparkle back to life. It's so pretty. I love that when you buff it down a glittery nail and then you go back in add the gloss and it looks so pretty again and then for the matte part I've got the same one, it's just the first one I grabbed off my shelf I think I've only used it once or twice I think it's the right though so we're going to give this one a go and for the moment we're just going to slap that matte, matte top coat around them all and then we we'll add the shine back where we want it in the moment once this is cured and gone back. I'm hoping this is a mat that I do like. If not, I'll have to give it another coat. But I believe, it's been so long since I used this, but I believe this is a good matte top coat. It's funny though, because if, if you've watched or seen a match of me like on Instagram or YouTube, you'll know that I quite often would go matte for a set of nails. Most of my nails are matte, I love a matte nail. Whereas this set, the one time where I don't actually want that, I reckon it'd look better all shiny. But the one time where uh, I don't actually want the matte, they're like, yeah, matte. <laughs> but I feel like it will come together. I feel like hopefully it'll look quite nice at the end. I'm just going to try and see what I've done. I've just realised this brush is going a bit hard. It's because I've had it sat in front of my Kira lamp. We have top coat on it, so it's got a little bit hard. I'm, I'm good at that, you know, I've done that loads. I never remember to sort of put my stuff out of the way of my hero lamp. It is what it is, good job, these are cheap. Her shit brushes, anyway, to be fair, they're absolutely horrendous, these ones. I don't know how I feel about these. I feel like they look so much better. Glossy. Completely glossy. Oh well, this whole point in the video, isn't it? <laughs> but I'm actually, yeah, I think the Snapchat AI has been brilliant. I think it's a fun, interesting way of doing things. AI is very clever and very intelligent. And I feel like a lot of people find this whole AI thing really useful. Even if someone's talked to you, because the thing will talk back to you, I'm not even kidding, the thing will talk back to you. Just like how... A human word, it's crazy. It's absolutely mad, this technology these days. Right, well, it's not the neatest, however. Yeah. It will do. It's not bad though, is it? Not bad at all. <laughs> I'm just going to hear that and I'll be back. So there we go, this is the end results. I've given our little alien friend there a little bit of glossy top coat as well. What do you reckon, eh? I don't think they're too bad. 
I was on here what I needed, so I'm a little bit messy, obviously out of practice. However, considering the AI sort of chose all of this, I think it's all come together really well. Good little colour theme. They're fun, they're quite summery, good for festivals I reckon. Yeah, really happy with them actually. But I think what really matters is what the AI thinks, isn't it? So should we ask AI what it reckons? Okay, so we've got our little AI buddy up. That's a pretty terrible picture. Let's send it and see what they reckon. That's pretty meta. Yeah? <laughs> I'm, I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Let's see. Right. So that's finished. Let's say thank you for picking my nail, nail art today. I'm going to confuse the hell out of it now, aren't I? Thank you for picking my nail art today. Of course, I'm glad I could help you choose. <laughs> Send it some hot eyes, shall we? Cool, cool. So, yeah, it's been a really, really, really fun video with this house. I've really enjoyed doing it. I love how these have turned out, so it's a bit different. But they've come together really well. I think it all sort of ties in quite nicely together. And yeah, I'm buzzing with them actually. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like these sort of videos, please let me know down in the comments below. I really enjoy filming videos like this. I just feel like it's a good bit of fun. And it's nice to sit down and use me a lot when I don't have a clue what I'm doing. It's fun. It's different, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've really enjoyed this. So I hope you guys have too. I'm going to stop waffling now because it's probably been quite a long video. And yeah, much love to you all. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.